the dime. All right. Dropping dimes crew. Dropping dimes crew. Heading out. On the road. Wyatt and Arbor. We here. We get a chance to hang with the superstars. I can't believe the super, it. The superstars. The superstars. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're riding on Golden Limo. What's your name? Jackson. Jackson. My man. Good to see you, Jackson. My man, Jackson. That's right. Good to meet you again. Good to meet you. I'll, I'll tell y'all. Ooh. Yes, sir. Ooh. Oh, yes, sir. Ah! <laughs> Still got some athleticism there. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Let's go in the world famous brown jug here. Brown jug. You know, see me. A brown jug. Pictures all over the place. That one in. This is the coolest one up here. That was uh, Jim Harbaugh when he was still with the 49ers. We all, they, he came to work out, Denar Robinson and Jordan Kovacs, and we all went to go eat afterward here at the Brown Jug. Took that picture way before he became the coach here. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Max right here, me, Denar, Shane Morris, came back for a quarterback camp to help out. Yeah, made the wall a couple times. Who is this? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Easy, easy. Easy with the benefits. Ooh, baby. easy, easy. <laughs> oh, what's going on, kid? Good, I'm good. Nice right. right there. How you been? I'm doing. Is that way you down a little bit? Yeah, it's always like sippy tea. Perry, I got a gripe. I got a gripe. Perry, yeah, yeah, it's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Perry, I used to be at the very top. What's going on here? Why am I third? What are we doing? Did you say something negative on TV or something? Perry, tell us, tell us what we have. Delightful goodness. Mm. Oh, so, you so you got the Greek sausage with the oh, vegetables you. cooked up with wine, right? Okay. You got the lamb uh, in the middle, the your meat. You got the chicken kebabs. And those are tomatoes and those are lemons. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And then you got the spicy feta, everything made in, in, in the house. You got the tzatziki with fresh yogurt, yogurt oh, lemon, wow. olive oil, garlic, and hummus. This is my favorite one. And then the grape leaves. The grape leaves go crazy. You used to eat those. I love the grape leaves. Mm -hmm. I came this. in and I knew what I wanted, but I perused the menu as if I didn't know what I wanted. So here's what I want. I'll take the Devin Gardner chicken tender. <laughs> <laughs> and that comes with steak fries unless you want I love the waffle okay. uh, with barbecue and ranch and honey mustard. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> After hearing his order, what is wrong with you? I would definitely like, I would definitely like the Devin Gardner chicken tender. Yes, you would. Okay. What else is coming to town? Well, it's, you know, this it's the summertime. So we've got our yeah. major events there with the art fair, as you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, what else do we have going on? Usually we have Taste of Ann Arbor. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Rolling Sculpture Car Show. Um, we have uh, Full Moon, which is a lot of fun. Um, let's see what else is coming up. The Spring Game. And, yeah. and an Ann Arbor institution in Hash Bash. <laughs> I mean, it is legal. It is legal. It is legal. As we see on every corner. <laughs> every corner, it is legal for yeah. sure. So what are you thinking about the Spring Game? What are we going to see there this year? Yeah, it's going to be very interesting uh, because, you know, Assuming that everyone that is on the roster now remains on the roster, uh, it'll be about the quarterback. Yeah. And, you know, what do they do at quarterback? I think they were very intentional about not going to get a transfer quarterback because they were pleased with the progress of the guys who were here. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to see if that progress translated to when, I mean, they were backup. So, you know, you're looking good as a backup, but how do you look when you're the guy? You know, that's different, even in practice. How do you look when you're the guy? So they're a lot brighter. <laughs> and they got big shoes to fill. They got big shoes to fill. So, but they all do at this point. I mean, everybody's replacing somebody big time. So they're all in the same boat. It's exciting from that standpoint to see what comes next. Have you ever gone foaling before? For me? Either of you? Of course. Not so. Not so. <laughs> not so, not so, not so, not so he insists that he is going to 
mop the floor with all of us. I ain't gonna say all of that. Mop the floor is a mean term. So wait, why why are you so no don't <laughs> act different just because Sarah is here. I remember distinctly. I wouldn't say mop the floor, that's not nice. I'm just gonna win. Man, one iconic restaurant down. Head to another one, another. All right. I love it. All right. Appreciate All right. that, DG. Appreciate it. Hello. Hello. This one nice. Man, I might, I might buy that jacket. Sam Webb. How you doing? This is AJ, the man. Nice my man, this is my guy. Okay. Right I know you got your guys, I got my guys. Okay. How you doing, you good? Good, man. So, this is AJ, the man of the hour. Much more important than anything I have to say, so I'm gonna let him tell everybody from Dropping Dimes all about my favorite place, Bivouac. All right, well, welcome to the store. Uh, Bivouac was started in 1971 by my father. Uh, it started out as an army surplus store and just kind of evolved into what you see here. We have men's and women's outdoor clothing. Mm -hmm. We have men's and women's fashion clothing. Um, pretty much something. Anything you need. Anything you need. <laughs> yeah, of course. Our, our slogan is outfit your life. Yeah. Basically, whatever life brings, whether you need to go hike Everest or you're just going out for a nice dinner, you know, uh, at a restaurant, we got you covered. Yeah. I got the reversible one. Oh, you got it on? Ah, oh, that's because you bite my style. That's why. Oh, what? <laughs> Devin saw what I got and tried oh, to get the same my thing. Oh, God. Tried to get the same thing. Terrible. I need to come shopping by myself next time. I got my deals. Sam got his deals. When I come to Ann Arbor, as you know, I come to Big Black. Boy. <laughs> You a Mac. Appreciate keep, you. Keep, keep his neck warm. Yeah, Appreciate keep, you. keep that collar popped. All right. So yes. You probably need a, the, the straight cut. It's just oh, yeah, I'm a V cut. I'm a V cut guy. Oh, yeah, I'm about yeah, to see this. I'm a V cut. Sam, this is delicious. It goes well. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. That's it. What would you I recommend? I got 1738. That's it. He ain't no drink. I want a liquor. Okay. Yeah, they're alcoholics. I would do a bourbon with that. You do a bourbon? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Not like I'm not typically a bourbon guy, but no, yeah, guys. on your on your recommendation, I will do it. So you go ask me for my recommendation. Yeah, I did, but you don't drink this. Not typically. <laughs> you like, you like old fashioned? If you're not a bourbon guy. Is that Hennessy? Yeah. That's what I like. Oh, if you like Hennessy, that's bad. Yeah, yeah. end dog. <laughs> Get you some of that end all. Give him the 1738. Okay. Instead of the Hennessy. Yeah. Go ahead and start talking. Oh, she got to drop it soon. You struggling right now, man. Y'all didn't get that on camera. There you go, there you go. Sip on your yak in between. Okay. You'll feel the buzz, so make sure you stay sitting down. <laughs> that wasn't good enough. You got yours lit, DG, I see you. Ooh, that tastes good, boy. Oh, absolutely. Mm. 
said, what stick is this? Ginger beer is set of the stomach as well, you know. So what is this that I'm smoking? Uh, 20 minutes to Detroit 8 20 what? 20 minutes to Detroit 8 20 minutes to Detroit 8 Well, Eminem and them. Woo! It was Chad's idea to come to the cigar bar. So shout out to Chad from Destination Ann Arbor. Better also known as my neighbor down the street. This was an outstanding, outstanding excursion. Yes, Highly recommend La Casa Cigar. They even have sweet cigars for guys like Devin, by the way. <laughs> Can I call you Rose? Champs here. <laughs> Let's get it. The game is really simple. There's a team on this side, there's a team on that side, and one football. This okay. team is throwing this football and they're trying to knock down those 10 pins. That team takes the same football, throws it back down here. They're trying to knock down these 10 pins. You go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth as many times as it takes. You rotate through your teams, and whoever knocks down all 10 pins first wins the game. You know, they want to try to get all of them against little old me. Oh, you like Just this ball. ganging up on me. Little do they know, this, it's harder to get into right, a rhythm man. with teammates. You can get in a much better rhythm without teammates. Y'all hear that? It's 1-1. One, one. Don't let them say two. First game was a warm-up game. Really? Really? Sam, you might not get a chance to play this round, brother. Wait a minute. Oh, I missed it. He won. Oh, take he, a sip. He cleared four with one throw. And then he cleared eight with one throw on the first one. Yeah, so yeah, use the big one. But it's best of, it's like best of five, so. <laughs> that had to hurt. Uh, Did that hurt? That not looking good, Sam. That pretty fast. <laughs> Hey, Sam, that was such a bad throw and went through the thing. Sam's sick of getting his butt whooped. Get us started, Sarah. Get us started. Outstanding. Get us started. Daniel, are you cheating? What I do, I was trying to catch it. Oh, you were trying to stop it from hitting the pins. Got it. How am I going to do that? Oh, that's off. Came off my hand funny. Ah, come on. Oh, man. Straighten up. Oh, it almost bounced back. That wouldn't count because it hit the net. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we good they answer, set up and we get answer. them all at once, too, y'all. We get them all at once, too. Oh. Good hand, Sam. Welcome now, back from the dance, right Sam. Sam. End it, Sam. We, we need you. We need you, Sam. It's like a wasted turn on that side. We need you. Who? You got one. Yeah, you spun one. Nope. Okay, I Welcome thought he back. was going to overthrow. He's clipped that one at the end. See. Oh. Oh. Come on, Devin. Oh, I miss it again. Oh, man. So I gotta, gotta not mess around. This is what happened that one time they beat me. La, I messed la, around la, and you let scrub kind of, you know, la, give some belief. La, la, belief can do anything, you know, and so I said like fairly quickly this time. We're here at the Folding Warehouse with Scott Brown. And Scott, first of all, this is an amazing, amazing place. It is. I'm gonna, 
I'm going to set aside the fact that we just lost to Devin Gardner. We're, go we're going back. <laughs> we are not ending on Good a luck. losing note. But Good luck. this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's a very addictive game, as you found out, right? Um, it was invented by a bunch of Detroiters who tailgate down at the Indy 500 every year. Okay, so they go down the Indy 500, and every day, every year, they create a new lawn game, right? So this year, they decide they're going to create a bowling alley. So they strap six of these boards together. They bring out the bowling ball and the pins, and they realize real quickly, number one, no backstop. Right. Number two, it's not level. They scrap the bowling ball. It keeps hitting people in the ankles. Someone like you is out there throwing a football around, accidentally knocks down some pins, and everybody kind of looked around and went, hey, this is fun, man. And so they, they started throwing the ball back and forth, knocking down pins, coming up with the rules. And by the end of the weekend, they figured out all the rules to bowling. Gotcha. So, yeah. And so how was the folding warehouse born? So these guys come back to Detroit and they realize that they can only play four months out of the year because, you know, summer is mm -hmm. that big, right? And so one of them has a warehouse and they go to the warehouse and they set up some boards around the back to make a backstop and they start playing and people start showing up. And enough people show up, they kind of went, this is a business. It's not just, you know, it's a fun game to play in the warehouse. So by 2014, down in Hamtramck, they found a place, built it up and created the first fooling warehouse. Gotcha. So, there you are. And so I know when you guys started here, but people watching might not. Went, yeah. Tell me about Foling Warehouse Ann Arbor. Foling Warehouse Ann Arbor is number six in, of eight now, but at the time we were the sixth one. Um, we started building and then there was this global pandemic. Oh, yeah. So uh, it was a little hairy scary for a while. We opened up in April of 2022, right after all the regulations and all that started backing yeah. off and we've been here for almost two years now. Yeah, so we went out and we played. You kind of went through some of the paces of who does well. Yeah. But you know what's, what's great about this is, yeah, Devin is a bit of a ringer that's a quarterback, but moms win. Oh my God. Grandmoms win, kids win, right? I would tell you, if there's a bunch of guys and a bunch of girls and they divide up and there's some men on win, women almost always win. Because, you know, throwing a straight, hard fastball knocks down one pin really hard. But if you throw a wobbler that kind of lands in the middle, it blows up the pins, man. So yeah, anybody can play. Anybody can play. All you got to do is throw the ball 30 to 40 feet. So That's let's it. go over your hours of operation and location for people when they're coming to All town. Right. Maybe they, maybe they in the fall, they watch a game, and after the game, they're looking for something to do. They want to come to the folding warehouse. Sure, but it's, we're on the same street, so Washington eventually turns into stadium. So mm -hmm. we are on Washington Avenue in Ypsilanti, not Ann Arbor, so mm -hmm. we're on the east side of 23. Um, we're in the same shopping center as At Home and Crunch Fitness, so you can find us nice and mm -hmm. easy on the corner golf side. Uh, we're open uh, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon until 10 o'clock on the weekdays. On the weekends, we're open until midnight. Uh, on the weekends, we open at noon, so you can bring your kids in and get a little kid crazy on the early part of the Saturdays and Sundays. Uh -huh. But later on at night, man, the vibe is incredible and the place is usually packed. So I was saying, man, I'm going to have my birthday party. Can people come in and do parties? And birthday parties, bachelor and bachelorette parties, yeah. Okay. Um, so corporate events, like, you know, you have to do the team building thing with your career. Yeah, um, yeah. This is the perfect place to do it because, you know, if you want some competition between accounting and sales, here you are. <laughs> You're right. To me, a lot of what makes a place is the vibe yeah, in the place. Yeah. And you can walk in and you can just feel the vibe in it. Well, the thing is, a lot of people haven't found us yet. And so just like you, they walk in, you. It's like opening the door when you walk in Tiger Stadium, you know, you're in the city and all of a sudden there's this big green pasture. Same thing here, you're in a shopping center, you walk in from the parking lot, you open the door, you're like, whoa, what is this? And you found it out. Gotcha. Yep. All right, so I know what people are gonna ask. Okay, this yeah. sounds great, Yeah. love it, I wanna go regular. Do you guys have, guys have a league? Oh my God, yeah. So our league on Tuesday night right now, we are qualifying for the American Fulling Association Championships. Top four teams are going to the championships in Grand Rapids on 420. And so um, every Tuesday night, uh, we have doubles league. And so the next one is gonna be starting in April, April 2nd. So it's not April 2nd yet, come and sign up. Go to the FollingWarehouse.com, Ipsy Ann Arbor and you'll find it. Uh, Scott, before we get out of here, yep. um, they're Eastern on one side, Michigan on the other side, Concordia in the middle, Washington yep. on the other side. What if students want to come by? Are they, they get a break? Got a great deal for them. Um, on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, those three colleges, three hours for $3. So like normally it's 15 bucks, uh -huh. but you know, students got a budget. Right. So they can come on in here. You know, they might not be drinking because they might be too young. Three bucks, they can play for three hours and have a great time. All right. Well, Scott, amazing place. Pleasure. This is a new home for me, man. Yo, Thanks man. a lot. We'll see a lot of you. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Let's go into Weber's. Let's go into Weber's. So the winner go first or? 
Oh, like, oh, whatever. This man. guy here, man. Yeah. Never gonna hear the end of it. Never. Why would I let you? That's crazy. Oh, All man, right. let me go first. There you go. <laughs> I need to be All first right. at some point today. All right. Hello, Sam. This is Michael Weber. Hi, Michael. Michael. Nice to meet you. Hey, How you doing? Dave Horton. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice Mike Weber of Weber's? Yes. Oh, I'm Devin Gardner. Hey. That's cool. This is awesome. Awesome. This is terrific. When you think about Ann Arbor, authentic Ann Arbor, I think Weber's. Anyone who is around town, this is the hotel that you think of. This is the restaurant you think of when you think of Ann Arbor. And we're standing here with Michael Weber right now. Michael, how you doing? I'm doing great. Doing really well. How about you? I'm doing great. So take us into the history of Weber's. Sure. We're, uh, we're the longest uh, running restaurant in Ann Arbor. Uh, the first location was on the east side in 1937. It was actually a gas station that served uh, beer and hamburgers. And then from there, um, my grandpa Herman kind of built it up a little bit, moved locations a couple times, and then settled here in 1950s with my grandmother Sonia. They built the restaurant first, and it was such a hit that we built the hotel onto it 10 years later. Right. And you guys have had a lot of changes over the years. You, you keep modernizing, you keep evolving. So what about all the changes that have come to Weber's over the decades? Yeah, we've added a, a, a bar onto the, the restaurant, uh, big TVs and everything there to watch the games. Uh, the restaurant, we've, you know, we've kept classic. It's such a beautiful design. We don't really want to update that too much, nor does I don't think it needs it. Right. Um, but the hotel, we've uh, undergone a huge renovation in the last 10 years. Uh, the Four Seasons pool area, hot tub and sauna. We've done all the hotel rooms, all the bathrooms. A lot of really nice uh, high-end finishes there. Yeah, I, I come here most often for the U of M Club of Ann Arbor mm -hmm. gatherings that we have uh, come. And this is, this is their look. At, that speaks to this being authentic Ann Arbor. Yeah, we have a lot of really amazing traditions, um, you know, especially with University of Michigan and University of Michigan football, the M Club. We have a, a tailgating brunch that we have every day, you know, every game day. Uh, people come in, they have a great brunch, uh, Bloody Mary, and then you can park in the parking lot and a bus will pick you up and take you right to the stadium. That is different. Like, you know, there are other hotels where they pick you up, but they don't have like the brunch. It, it's not the whole package like it is here at Weber's. It's fun. A lot of people come, you know, every every game day, this is their spot. They tailgate at Weber's and then they're right at the stadium after that. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it's one of those, if you're coming to Ann Arbor, you're looking for a place to stay. I mean, it's tough, obviously. You better be booking well in advance to get into Weber's, but this would be where you go to get everything all inclusive and you want to get a piece of Ann Arbor as well because this, to me, when I think of Ann Arbor, this is what I think of. And so let's talk about the restaurant. We're going to sit down and you think about the steakhouses in Ann Arbor. This is obviously one of the places that you think about, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, we, you know, we, we do it right. We do it old school. Uh, prime rib, lobster, great steaks and chops and seafood. Um, just great service, you know, nice atmosphere. But uh, yeah, thanks for all the nice things you said. I yeah, I appreciate know, it's it. second to none. Yeah. Obviously, the bar is outstanding. Mm -hmm. Where if you're bringing events to, mm -hmm. uh, you're looking for like event space, you have it here. Like I said, we go to the U of M Club of Ann Arbor gatherings here as well. And of course, your hotel is second to none. So how many rooms, different kind of accommodations kind of take us into the hotel? Uh, there's 158 rooms. We, uh, we have really cool poolside rooms where you can walk down a spiral staircase. You have your own balcony overlooking the pool. Uh, people love that. We do a um, couple of packages on the, the weekends. There's a little bar down there. You get some, um, some Caribbean cocktails. Okay. Um, but it's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, the suites are, are pretty amazing too. There's a huge seven foot soaking tub that bubbles come up. There's four jets in the wall. So a lot of ah, nice. Yeah. Sure that was booked yeah. for Valentine's Day, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. All right, so we're standing next. Mm. To, the, to the wine. Now, obviously, oh, yeah. this is another thing I think of. If you're a wine connoisseur, this is another place to come, right? Mm. Yeah, we've um, been on the um, Wine Spectators Award list for over 20 years now. Um, just a great list. Uh, we specialize in um, Californian Cabernets. Um, you know, perfect for prime rib or for steak, but we've got a really nice selection. Gotcha. So, for people who are wondering where you are, uh, what about your website? Kind of give them the particulars, your location, and your website. Yeah, the uh, west side of Ann Arbor, we're right off 94, right. Um, exit 172, um, webersannarbor.com. Right, and so, you know, look, game days always fill up. I mean, people need to be booking their rooms now, right? 
We've uh, we're sold out for a good chunk of the home games next year. Already, uh, the the Texas one sold out in five minutes. It yeah. was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but other games are still available There's, right now. There are some rooms still available. All right, so yeah. folks, get to it. What's your website again? Webersandarbor.com. Webersandarbor.com. Be sure to check it out. We're about to go through and have some great steaks, as you guys will see on on video. So you have a favorite menu item? The prime rib. The it's, prime rib. It's our specialty. It's I had it last night. It's great. So the prime rib. Yeah. See, I'm a steak guy uh -huh. all the way. I like ribeye, but you're saying do the prime rib. We have a great ribeye as well. Um, okay. But the prime rib is our specialty, so I gotta okay. go. I gotta stick with that. All right. Well, Michael, appreciate your time, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Good to see you, Sam. All right. Thanks. Yeah, enjoy. Thank you very much. That looks awesome. Denar is probably my best. Denar, Koger. Okay. Oh, yeah. It was Kovacs until he tried to stump me out one time. <laughs> Kovacs tried, tried to stump, stump me out of practice. Oh, my God. Oh, it was hilarious. It was, it's funny now. It wasn't funny at the time. I wanted to fight him at the time. But. <laughs> what? That doesn't sound like Jordan Kovacs. Yeah, that's what I said. You look like the type that just went to grab a fry. I need steak. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you, sir. As we take in a ribeye. Man, I've been waiting for this. I think that's like a truffle butter. That's good. How's your meat? It's outstanding. Whoa. They're going to get you something different. <laughs> What'd you say, DJ? <laughs> hey, yo. This is outstanding. Hey, yo. Are they going to get you different? Nah, my now? business. Oh, your meat. You getting which? What do you got? Some you getting the ribeye, Daniel? Yes, sir. Yeah, um, that's what I thought I was Oreo. <laughs> I got something to so. This is outstanding. Get this on camera. Whipper. Banana bread pudding with buttery pecan ice cream. This is yeah, amazing. That's right. that's, I my wow. This key lime is hitting too. I don't lie to you now. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The entire team that has been a part of this shoot today has been fantastic. Lucky nothing. And who, yeah, and, and to Sarah, Sarah, who's a big fan, she's like, oh, she was amazing. She's like, give give Devin and Daniel my number. Tell them whenever they're in town. That's my give girl. Me a, give me a call. She was really so she's cool. a fan. She wants to, next time we go to the Folding Warehouse. She's, part she's of on my team. Warehouse. Like, I tried to have it to begin <laughs> with. So she would have been able to do all my cleanup. We would have destroyed y'all. <laughs> no, it was an absolute blast. Instead, I had to destroy your man. And A1, A1 on the, on the dinner and dessert here yes, sir. at Weber's. It was outstanding, so. That I think we gotta hit this road. They got like glasses, and I guess they came on ice and they thought we was gonna be drinking. I'm gonna have to take a couple of those uh, San Pellegrinos out of here. That's your job. Man, that's sparkling water. I'm needing it sometime. Yeah, nah, that help you settle your stomach too. Mm -hmm. I'm for sure not no. Uh, I drink sparkling water. I don't drink mineral water, though. You, ever, you drink mineral water, Sam? Mm -hmm. you ever, when I played in France, that's like the palate cleanser. OK. I need a mineral water. It helps with digestion, too. But okay. Nah, not for me. All right, and so the night is over, and we rolled on Golden. We got to where we needed to get every time on time, and it was courtesy of our driver, Jackson, you did a great job. So Jackson, let's start off first with telling us how long you've been working with Golden. Actually, I've been working there for about four months now. And I've already met you. This is the second time. First, right. First time's with Will Johnson. Right. National champion. Now with these two superstars, I love it every time. <laughs> you guys crack me up. You ride in style. And if you guys want a golden experience like the champs, go with Golden Limo. Yeah, you, that is absolutely the case. So we saw Michigan football, they ride, Michigan athletics, they ride on golden. But for me, getting to the airport, for us getting around town, ground transportation, whether it's for a group on a party bus or you need airport transport, one of your luxury uh, SUVs, 
Yep. Whatever your gra ground transportation needs are, they can be met by Golden. Yes, and we are on time every time. So, Sean Duvall really set the tone, and I, I said this earlier, you know, the, the experience when it comes to booking travel, it can be a headache mm -hmm. with a lot of companies. With yes. Golden, you can email where you're going, mm -hmm. your, your flight plan, when you want to get picked up, and they will map out everything else. But this was a particular challenge for Debbie Galloway. You're an outstanding scheduler. This yes. trip came together in basically 24 hours, and she mapped out an itinerary for us that got us to every spot. You had us ready to go. You went and picked up Devin yep. at home, yep. right? We had detours along the way, and that is right. <laughs> we had detours along the way, and it was just this seamless experience that we didn't have to think about whether it was we were going to get there on time. We didn't have to think about whether it was safe. Absolutely, absolutely. I was happy to do it. All right, so listen. As Devin said, as you heard Daniel say, if you have ground, if you have ground transportation needs, and you're in Southeast Michigan, or if you're traveling elsewhere, you book a flight from Detroit Metro Airport, and you're heading to LA, you need to get picked up at the airport. Golden can book your trip all the way to the airport. When you land in LA, you'll have your transportation picking you up, and the same thing in reverse. That is the golden difference. Excellence, the golden experience. You can find them at goldenlimo.com. Oh. How are you? I don't know about you, but when I want to travel, whether it be abroad or around Ann Arbor, I use Golden Limo. There is no other transportation like it. I know you have those other services that you might use, but if you're smart and you want to ride around in luxury, you should get on Golden Limo. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. It's good. That's perfect. Cut. That's a cut.